Welcome everyone, it's Hass here and Endless Dungeon has officially released and while a lot of things have proper tutorials for them in the game, there are definitely a few confusing elements designed that require further explanation and so in this video I wanted to talk about 5 specific tips I personally I wish I knew now that I've beaten the game a couple of times and have over 50 hours in it and hopefully they will give you a smoother experience and help you get more out of Endless Dungeon. This video is spoiler free, not that there's a lot of spoilery story content, but the final tip does have very minor story elements to it that I would still recommend listening to, but if you're generally a thorough lore nerd, you can probably skip on that. So the very first tip I'd like to share is about hero leveling in Endless Dungeon and how stats are connected to leveling. One of the early misconceptions about Endless Dungeon was that they removed leveling from Dungeon of the Endless, but it's actually very much present in the game that can be done through upgrade stations you find randomly in districts. Normally you will only notice that you can choose from the three different skills to empower your hero, but if you open your character menu you can see that a couple of your attributes such as health, defense or wit in the case of Fassi are marked with a yellow icon compared to the rest being white. This means that as you purchase new skills in the upgrade section you will also level up these golden attributes and they will increase along with your level. Different characters have different golden attributes, so make sure to take that into consideration when purchasing levels to also see which characters benefit more for your current strategy, like the sweepers level increasing wit that's better for turret play, or in the case of Zed, they're going to be increasing their damage so they're better with weapons. The next tip is on the topic of turret boosting, more specifically the shove mechanic. As you know there is a melee attack in Endless Dungeon, Shoving, that can also be used to repair your turrets and additionally boost their performance. When you shove a turret you'll notice that their barrels start to glow yellow, which is the indicator that your boost is active on them and it's going to be easier to track the duration at least, but I believe it's exactly 8 seconds that does not increase. Now for how much your boost matters, it is in fact connected to your wits attribute on your characters that also helps you increase your repair power. But wit increases the fire rate and the damage of a turret when you shove them by 2% per wit at launch at least that does have a fire rate limit I was told by the developers, so that's not infinite. But this means characters who focus more on wit, like the sweeper, are going to be much more suited to turret defense and someone with 15 or 20 wit can massively increase turret attack power if you keep shoving them, so make sure to use this feature. Speaking of special attribute bonuses like that, it might not be immediately clear what everything means in Endless Dungeon, not everything has tooltips unfortunately, for which they have implemented a really neat feature in the library that you can access through the game Saloon, where you should make sure to check out the Glossary tab that will include all terms and important stats present in Endless Dungeon, along with a description on what they do. So in the case of Wit, it says it determines how effective heroes are at repairing and boosting turrets, but also at hacking reset points to those terminals during a power blackout. I recommend reading through the glossary as it is quite useful even if not perfect, but it might tell you a few things you didn't know before. My fourth suggestion is more gameplay oriented now and will help you pace your runs more or get more opportunities out of bug waves against you. While you're researching new turrets during your games, you probably have already noticed they also trigger a new monster wave and you'll have to beat it first in order to unlock the research. But you can also trigger a research during these events like a normal monster wave or even while you're escorting your crystal bot out of a level. And once the wave ended or the bot reached the next level, the research will complete as normal. This way you can combine multiple actions together and potentially get more research done before reaching the next floor. Just be careful as doing so will pop up a message saying monster wave is reinforced and more monsters will spawn. I haven't noticed it being significantly harder at all but just in case, be mindful in case you're not sure you can defend the wave. And so finally we've arrived to my final tip, which can be a minor story spoiler in a way, but I wouldn't consider it as such. Basically in Endless Dungeon you will complete the game multiple times and see the final cinematics, but that won't be the end of your journey. In the library archives you'll be gathering multiple puzzle pieces from all the districts of the game, and once you collect it four, each district will reveal you a special story cinematic you can watch that will reveal additional background story for Endless Dungeon and you definitely don't want to miss them. On top of it all, like the game warns you, once you have collected all archive pieces it will also reveal a special true ending to the game with a secret, so everyone who already finished the game at least once, your journey isn't over yet and the next step is to work towards unlocking all cinematics and find out the true ending. 
So those are my five basic tips I wish I knew from the start as I got into Endless Dungeon. Hope I managed to show you something new. And if you liked the video, consider subscribing as next I will talk about the strongest weapons, heroes and turrets in my experience so far that I definitely want to share. So stay tuned as there's more fun coming your way. Thank you for watching everyone, happy Endless Dungeon launch, have fun and I'll see you the next time.